Hello, I'm just about to show you how to create these shapes. These shapes were created by duplicating, rotating and scaling. Uh, this tutorial is presented to you by Articino's Diane Chalinor. First there's a little bit of housekeeping. I would like you to open a new layer and make sure that it's active. Also, the tool that is selected should be your selection tool. Now we're ready to start. I'll turn off these things and I will just show you a screen with it which has the point by point method of doing this so you can go back to it later. Stop your video if you need to read it in detail. Now I'm on layer on a blank layer and I'm going to create a circle with made up of several shapes. So I'm pulling it over a shape, putting it onto my drawing board and I'm snapping it to the grid. I'll then duplicate that shape either going by edit duplicate or I will use the keyboard and a command D. I'll then put that shape exactly over the top of the original shape. I will then use the rotate tool and I will reposition the pivoting point. The pivoting point is this red crisscross. If you, it, it can go anywhere you want. You just have to find where you'd like it to go and you will then just click over the top of that point and that brings the red crisscross where the pivoting point across so your shape will end up going around that pivoting point. The next thing you need to do is just rotate the, the duplicate, the first duplicate, just a little bit like that. Okay. Once you've done that, if you duplicate it by Command D, it will just go around the pivoting point. And there you have it. That's the first shape we're going to create. Now we're going to create another shape very similar but we're going to use an additional step which is scaling which actually changes the result of the shape. But first of all we have to disengage the tools and the selections. So to, to disengage the rotating tool we click on the selection tool and to disengage, to disengage the selection the actual selection which is the blue lines and the dots here we just click in the grey area outside of the drawing board. And that shape is complete and I'm now going to create a new layer to work on. I'm going to turn off that shape and now we start again and I'm going to selection tool make sure that you've got your selection tool on bring your shape across snap it to the grid, duplicate, sit it over the top of the original rotate the duplicate, alter the pivoting point of the duplicate by clicking your mouse over the point where you'd like it to pivot hover your mouse over the shape, hold down your mouse and just rotate around that pivoting point. This is the first duplicate. Now different to the shape we did before we're going to scale it and to do that we change our tool that we're using to the scaling tool. When you change to the scaling tool you must change where this pivoting point is. If you don't change it you won't get the shape you want. So click over that little blue dot in the middle of your shape and that brings back the pivoting point. Then you're going to scale. I like to use a very small subtle change of 98% horizontal and vertical and I'll scale. That's just slightly scaled the shape, the, the duplicated shape now when we duplicate it, it will just reduce itself by 98% as we go around the circle. So here we go.
and that's how it works. It's taken quite a bit of uh, rehearsing to uh, get all this cor correctly in the right order. That pivoting point can cause you all sorts of great grief. Just make sure that you disengage your tools and get new layers when you're creating another shape. And I'm going to do that now where I'll disengage. So I'm going to disengage the, the scaling to select tool and I'm going to turn off this selection of that shape over here. Now at the moment you'll find that this shape is made up of it's actually not one shape, it's made up of many shapes as I'll show you like this. All right. So what you can do is you can right click on your mouse and you can combine the whole thing into a shape like that. And that that can give you a whole new ball game. But we'll just undo that so that we go back to what we originally had. And that's basically how you do it. I hope it's been hope this tutorial has been helpful.